Hi, everybody, here is Christian from Team Workcast. And I'm Constantin Kelfisil, a friend of Team Workcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love how you say Team Workcast. <laughs> team Workcast. It's in the game. And it's in the game. <laughs> Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> uh, anyways, it is actually a Saturday <laughs> that we're that we're recording this. It is uh, the fifth of May, and it's uh, you know Belgium hustled a store called Oberon, and Salset Island is legal, and this is the final final. Final final. The final finals. There's, it's the last game in this tournament. There's not going to be any more games. Uh, it is Mithras against Jan, two Germans in the house. It is a class of titans. It is a fight to the end. Uh, it is a fight <laughs> to the end, indeed. Yeah, until seven points. Or <laughs> We're getting over dramatic. <laughs> Go all the way to seven points today. Um, so we have Hus Bayroid uh, yeah. in the fun, which basically gets a credit every, the first time something is installed by the Corp. Yeah. It's turn, which means if something is installed in the runner's turn, that's also credit. Ooh, meta plays. And yeah. we also have Wizard, who has three recurring credits to trust uh, things. You know, just uh, things, stuff. Wizard's very popular RD recently. Uh, yeah. Like you, you all like it seems like every second runner is a wizard. Yeah, and there are like all these kinds of archetypes of it, so you don't really know what to expect. Yeah, I mean, usually it's kind of like Dumble Fork kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah, usually it's Dumble Fork for But Dumble Fork is kind of like also like a very undefined mushmash of cards. I feel yeah. like it's just I'm gonna draw a lot of cards. I'm gonna stretch <laughs> a lot of things. Mushmash, mishmash, mushmash. <laughs> mishmash. <laughs> I don't know. In Germany, we call mishmash. Okay. Um, so yeah, we see two cards being installed: at ice in front of HQ and R and D. Oh, then, that's a, that's a very hard drop from the start. <laughs> I love this. The, like denied. <laughs> Jan starts with a liberate accounts and then immediately <coughs> drops an employee strike. So now the ability of Mithras is disabled. You won't get that one extra credit. It's not a big a big deal in. in it, it is a big deal HP. if you play it from turn one, right? <laughs> well. It is a big deal also now because Mistress hasn't played any economy card. See, he just got a credit out of habit. <laughs> and had to do, had to throw it away. It would be so funny if uh, Mithras just like threw down a cerebral static <laughs> on top of that employee. Side. I love it, yeah. That would be great. <laughs> um, I, I really like this play from Jan, but I don't like that the fact that he still hasn't face checked anything. I guess first turn maybe it's not not, not as, as common, but still. Yeah. I feel like um, it's if, you're, if, so you if you're putting up this kind of economic pressure, you should make sure that that you actually make them spend the money. Oh yeah, it he is does a now. Drink. Is he gonna click through to find an Adonis and then cry himself to sleep? Yes, <laughs> I wouldn't. I actually He's wouldn't about do it, it anyway. Oh, oh, it's a Zeus! Oh my God, it's. Yep. Oh yeah, it's a Zeus deck. We saw it. The, yeah, the, because Sunset Island Jeeves. was legal. Legal. <laughs> uh, actually, the first tournament where it was legal. So you know, people are playtesting those Jeeves decks that everybody was hyping up about. So uh, Jeeves, what does Jeeves do? Uh, so basically, every time you uh, do the same, you spend a click to do the same thing of the same action in your turn. You basically gain another click. So if you play three operations, you gain another click. If you click for three credits, you gain another click. If you advance something three, three times, or just advance anything three times, you know, like an ice, an agenda, and something else, you still get another click. So there's like this whole combo of playing subliminal messaging, which gives you a click anyway, and then Sipram from Sansen, because you basically spend two clicks to play that, to gain another click. Which is broken. It's 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 a, <coughs> the weirdest way to do fast runs. Yeah, like subliminal messaging is suddenly an amazing card. <laughs> mm. Oh well, uh, let's see if maybe uh, Mithras can des can get this rolling here. He has to win this tournament, uh, this this um, game to win the tournament, and yeah. Jan as well, obviously. The funniest part of that is that you actually. Um, when you play subliminal, you gain a credit. Then you install something, you gain a credit. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, you can advance. You kind of uh, <laughs> the, the, adva you spend just one credit in total to a fast advance. Yeah, exactly. Which is weird. <laughs> um, yeah. So now we see a face check on a, uh, the R and Ds, and that's going to be an um, architect. Oh, uh, just keep running with medium. I mean, how many times is he going to install? <laughs> <laughs> The meta plays. <laughs> uh, wow, is that a strategy? Is that really a strategy? I like On this. On the other medium. hand, look at look at his uh, look at his money pool. Yeah, there's nothing there. He has nothing. <clears throat> I mean, it wouldn't be the worst idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Although I don't know, man. I wouldn't do that anyway. Yeah, I don't think it's a great idea. <laughs> do it again. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> do it. Do it. <laughs> All right, so we saw an Ichi here, <laughs> but Nian can now run uh, run on a, the HQs, and maybe he can snag an yeah. agenda there. Agenda? 
Nope. nope. Wraparound. Wrap that's fascinating. So Wraparound being used in HB decks recently, and that's kind of like, wow. That's a very meta pick. By the way, he has an Agenda 900. You saw it? Yes, I saw it with the corner of my eye. Mm. At the corner of his hand. With the corner of your nose. So he has a neat in hand and a wrap around. Um, yeah. Wrap around, I love it. I mean, Faust hate, you cannot put in enough Faust hate in your decks these days. Yeah, that's a, that's a thing. Like, it's a meta pick that lots of people make and there there's a good reason for it. I mean, unlike the, the Swordsman, it's actually also a very good early game. And yeah, nice. exactly. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, so there's another run on HQ. He is gonna find it now. Oh, oh no. no what an ash. Ash. Trash that ash. So easy to make this decision Trash now. Trash that ass. So easy to make the decision with the with the recurring um, wizard credits, right? Yeah. And he runs again because now he will see a new card. Yeah, and I yep, told you. That's a new card. That's told you. Galabala Food Anashatav. So employee strike still in the game. And there's a Jeeves in the game as well now, though. Yeah. So if you can res it and just get the credits back right away. And there's also some up, kind of upgrade in that server. Which we have to assume is going to be a dash. He's it. Yep. Oh, subliminal? Is it coming? <sighs> oh, no, nah, he's just getting nah. four. Yeah, he's just getting four. He gets four, which is great. I mean, now it's a pet campaign. It's definitely not bad. I mean, <laughs> and considering the, the, the uh, thing behind Zeeves is an upgrade now, he can actually protect it if uh, Wizard runs in there. Because he only has two credits. I mean, again, the worst <laughs> that we just can be is a pet campaign, right? That's the worst. Yeah. Whereas well, you just then, click for three and you get a credit for free. Yeah, but that's not why you put it in your deck. <laughs> no, but it's kind of nice. I mean, it helps um, yeah, Mithras a lot here. He was so down on the definitely. money that employee strike is really hurting him in in long term. And yeah, we see Jan uh, dropping the pancakes. Wild set pancakes. And Those yeah. cards do not fit together, like as a theme. <laughs> I mean, what do you do? You eat pancakes and then you go to the wild side, or do you go to the wild side and then come back and eat pancakes? And you basically yeah. cure, you cure your uh, your headache, you know, from the too many drinks, so you yeah, don't lose a click. Yeah, no, you, you basically don't go to sleep <laughs> because you you, <laughs> s you spend entire night partying and then just come back and eat pancakes and you're off, <laughs> off to your day job, you know. So the pancakes count for not having any sleep. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what adjust the chronotypes <laughs> is. I mean, you adjust your chronotype, you adjust your the, your sleep patterns. So they, they fit your nightlife. <laughs> did you see what it did? He clicked for three credits, gained a click, played Subliminal, and then drew a card. Love it. <laughs> what? Love it. He literally just took five clicks as a corp. I, I love the new Jeeves uh, overlord. No, oh, man. But yeah, I mean, it is hurting him that he doesn't have... Um, he still doesn't have the ETF ability working for him. I like this is a kind of good spot to do this for Mithras because Jan is not really positioned to run on stuff. Yeah. And uh, so the subliminal messaging is likely to come back next turn. At the same time, Zeeves is like having a Zilla Hans uh, Arcology Discord. I haven't seen that at Zen in Nakedis, by the way. Zilla Hans Arcology? Yeah, like, <laughs> I haven't seen it anywhere. Uh, uh, Personal Evolution likes playing it. Yeah. And also the Harpsichord decks I've seen it played. Really? Mm hmm. Okay. You know, the one the 20 agenda harpsichord decks. Yeah, 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 that's what I was thinking about. Because even even in like high agenda density decks, I don't see it. They prefer hmm. profiteering or something because yeah, they usually I mean, just want to go fast. Yeah, profiteering, but you also have Gila hands <laughs> just in case. Just in case. <laughs> you don't can't enough uh, money agenda. All right, so, so turntable in his hand. What else? I'm not really doing anything same right now. Thing. So just same old thing will we'll do it, I guess. Well, it. I'm not sure. I, th he I think, yeah. Is he preparing a plan or? I think Jan is having some bad draws. He needs to set up a little bit, and it seems like both <laughs> of the players are kind of preparing for later. Uh, this did Mithra, Mithras replay the subliminal? Uh, no. But uh, it's not. It's not a forced ability, so he needs to remember it himself. We you, we learned this the hard way, haven't yes. we? Yes. <laughs> We'll learn this the very hard way during the, that's the last that's Nationals. Yep. Uh, Alright, so there's a new server being opened by Mithras and he reinforces the, um, the Jeeves server. Now that Jeeves is running, he kind of grew attached to it. He doesn't want to lose it so quickly. Yeah. Well, it is, it is great. I mean, it's basically the machine running behind uh, ETF at the moment. He's basically the CEO of ETF at the moment. Yeah, definitely. I kind of um, something I find it really troublesome against playing against Dumble Fork is like you never really know if you have a scoring window because you know every, any any time yeah. you get, they can drop a Faust and suddenly everything becomes breakable again. Yeah, exactly. Like Wild Side is such a great card. 
so it's kind of like very difficult to be like, okay, now I can go, you know, now it's my time. It's uh, generally Anarch though, I mean, they just have like those tricks that will allow them to go in at any time, like those fast, you know, ways of getting into places. Yeah, those kind of like really drastic turnarounds. Yeah, exactly. Like Steam um, Hack, like all these yeah. things are like just amazing. Yeah, it used to be like Steam Hack, at least there was a downside. These days, there are not too many downsides. Yeah. Looking at you making an entrance. <laughs> God that damn is it, such that, a good card. I saw that, it that, Yeah, but by... that card is a goddamn misprint, I tell you. That's, that's Why? That shouldn't have been printed, man. Because it's zero cost, or...? It, it, there's no downside to it, the card. Yeah, that's true. It's just too good. Uh, well, anyways. it is a click. <laughs> and it has to be played <laughs> on the first click. <laughs> Whoa, Jesus. At least it's not free. <laughs> it, 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 they actually have to play include, include that card in the deck too to yes, get this exactly. advantage. That's that's horrible. It yeah. has thick deck space. What if it's your last card in the deck? <sighs> horrible, Whoa, my horrible blood. man! <laughs> you would cry. Um, anyway, so there we see the liberate accounts and a um, Faust. I have strong feelings about about uh, uh, making entrance. I'm sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Do you actually lose a game to making an entrance? I mean. No, it's just I'm I'm really enjoying roller decks, and then suddenly a better oh, okay. card is printed, but it's of out of faction. It's horrible. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So the Faust is out now. So as 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 I said, you know, it's kind of difficult to anticipate this. Uh, but Mithras had to know that this is coming. There's still no um, no, no David. Or anything, yeah. So that um, that um, the chief is still uh, safe there. But even even from uh, Mithras' side, like no advancement or anything. No, no, nothing. Just, just preparing, I guess. Uh, sub playing other subliminal. <laughs> now they're going to be runs. Yeah, now there's, there's, there's it's po the potential for runs is there, I guess. So if he had put an agenda down, he could have faked scored. Yeah. But so yeah. we have to assume that's not an agenda. But what is it, right? I don't know. Upgrade on R and D. I honestly have no idea what that thing is at the left. I, yeah. I mean, if it's not an Zen, then what is it? Because he did have the money to do it, and it would be a good idea to get rid of the employee strike. Yeah, it's not this economy card. It's, I don't. You can say more thing to employee strike, right? Maybe uh, backup Jeeves. Have you ever seen more thing to play current? Uh, yes. Oh wow! Well. Definitely. Your hardcore parkour. Definitely cool idea. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we see the David now. So the Breaker Suite is assembled by yes. Jan. He can run anywhere he wants. I mean, maybe there could be a Swordsman, but otherwise he's cool. I don't think there's going to be a Swordsman in this deck. I mean, Wraparound is already enough of a meta choice. That's true. Usually Wraparound means, okay, I invested in influence in uh, Foul State. I don't need any Foul State anymore. Okay, so he's giving access. And that hmm. probably means there's nothing in his hand. You think so? Yeah. Yeah, he has enough money to res it, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean... Oh, Jackson being trashed. Or he's just waiting to res the things on the remote and the central. Maybe and it's a R &D. Maybe that, that card there is a Jackson. Yeah, 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 that's true. That could be a Jackson. That's the only thing that I would like, I don't know, um, you know, justify it being. I, and then the idea is that he didn't use the Jackson because it has a Jeeves, so he can draw four. Yeah. Mm, all right, so we see another run on HQ. And that's going to be Adichi that we saw before. So at least Wizard knows now, Yeah, knows that that's not an Adichi in front of the new remote. Or maybe that's the second Adichi. Or maybe there are a lot of Adichis. Or maybe, maybe there is only Adichi in the deck. Or maybe it's an Adichi 2.0. <laughs> we need a 3.0 so you can have 9 of them there. Uh, then it, for the 3.0 you need 3 clicks to get through. <laughs> oh my god. That would be cruel. And then there's going to be 5.0 where you have to play Serene. <laughs> You're going to have to play Serene just to click through with the nice. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's actually, a nice Yanis you got there. Actually Mind if the I install the Serene? <laughs> actually, the 5 oh, no, you have to play Serene and... Um, what's the other one that gets initial click? Steam? R Rachel Blackman. Oh, Rachel Blackman. Oh my god. Rachel Blackman is such a good card, if you can get a player. But there mm. are way too many Tracer decks at the moment, so... <laughs> yeah, I it's mean... It's very likely that you'll get... Tagged at some cool point. breaking news and your nine yeah. credits as, as exactly yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, I I came to the tournament thinking that nobody will be playing MBN and nobody will be scoring breaking news. <laughs> it's easy; you just score all of them early game so that they can't do it later. There is a run on our ND and that is going to be an enigma that is being encountered. Jan suddenly has to think about which cards he wants to discard to get through here. 
Uh, it's going to be two cards for the Enigma, unless he wants to uh, save your click. And three cards for Architects. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I, had I said worse. Is he wasting the click? Hmm. Hmm. Wow, a lot of thinking going on. Very considerate choices here by both players. I honestly can't play fast. Oh, he actually jacked out. I honestly can't play fast because I would not be able to trust things from my hand that easily. I'd be like, I want that. That's also nice. Yeah, all of these is necessary. Like, yeah, that, that's a criminal mindset, right? <laughs> that's why I put. It, that's why I put all of them in the deck. I'm not <laughs> gonna trust them now. <laughs> I didn't put cards in here that are not necessary. Yeah. <laughs> Um, all right, so that is going to be a parasite installed on an enigma. It's like uh, there was a jackout. So I, I wonder which. Uh, I guess he broke the uh, loose click subroutine, and that is going yeah. to be a shipment from Sansan. Like it is very important um, uh, tool of fast advancing. With Zeeps, yeah. Uh, and hopefully we're going to see it. I, I actually want to see it now. Mister Socks is back in the background. <laughs> oh man, he's dancing. Mm. <laughs> or maybe he's masturbating furiously. <laughs> oh my god. Thank god the camera is looking down. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Do you um. think that's easy now? <laughs> I'm so distracted, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, I think it's an Ichi. I, I, I would assume it's an Ichi. That would be actually a really good install. This would be a very um, expensive. <laughs> I just Niron. imagine his voice like, oh yeah, it's a really good network <laughs> game going on. <laughs> uh, apologies for him <laughs> if we get in insulting Mr. Sox there. It, you're just, cool, Mr. Sox. You are you're, cool. You're a cool guy. <laughs> Um, running on that server here, that's going to be a... Oh, faked. Uh, um, uh, Adonis campaign, sexy bots being crashed. Well, it's still uh, costing so I really like the, the install key by Mithras, like making the R&D really big, because we see the medium and we have to assume that Yanis eventually will want to run on, on, on the R&D again. There's a parasite, so you know, R&D will get weaker after time. It's just really just playing against what the runner wants to do in this case. Okay, so let's take a moment and see the fact that there has been like 17 minutes of a game with ETF not making more than one credit. That is a huge deal. A huge it is deal. a big deal, I, yeah. I agree. And it's kind of weird that Mithras still hasn't fast advanced anything, in, although all the pieces seem to be on the board. Well, he does have Sigmund from Sanson, so I would assume that he hasn't had the um, agenda, the right agenda yet. Yeah. Because he might have he might have um, drawn a global efficiency, foods. efficiency committee or global foods, yeah. yeah. Maybe he has to, uh, you know, do it like Jan and be like install, <laughs> yeah, and then psych. Just like all, all naked, just <laughs> not even mm -hmm. nice. I mean, he can pull this off. But he can no advance an agenda because of Jeeves. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Even even if it's an efficiency committee, he can actually do that. Uh, could he not advance a global food? You could what? Could he, Did do he global just take six credits instead of five? I don't know. Think so. I'm not sure. I, we, we will do the math in, yes. when I do the editing later on. We can we we'll let you know if there's any misplays on, so the, do on you, credits. Do you spend like minute after minute, just, you know, looking at their credits one by one? The, it's the worst thing when I cannot actually see the credits, or when I, you know, the, the game progresses, and then suddenly I realize that my credits are out of sync with their credits. Oh God! And then I have to <laughs> rewind and retrace where the uh, where the mistake happened, oh, or God. it was my mistake or their mistake. I don't know, man. It's so much work in this. It is. Uh, this is a lot of work. Uh, there is a turntable here, and so that's again like a premature install. But uh, Mithras is not scoring anything, and I think Jan uh, really needs to MU for something that he wants to do right now. So I'm glad I'm supporting your Patreon. Necessary advertising. <laughs> yes, support me on Patreon because this is a lot of work and su the support helps a lot. Um, that is going to be a data sucker. That's uh, that's really that's, nice. That's really good. Yeah. So now let's charge up some data sucker tokens. Ooh, keep running HQ. Why yeah. is he not raising HQ? There must be nothing. I mean, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be weird if that was something, right? Yeah, I mean, let's pick a card, man. Pick a card. It's Turing. No, it has to be randomized, man. So now there is one data sucker, which is a very big deal for Architect, even. Huh. <clears throat> because you won't even be having to spend um, the extra card for the strength. It's a very big deal. And it also starts activating uh, Parasite for anything else. Yeah, I generally data sucker is such a useful card. And uh, for Faust, it can save you so many credits. It's so good. Do you know what I think uh, uh, Jan should do? He should mm. run Jeeves. 
I wonder why he didn't go for the Jeeves. Maybe yeah. he expects a um, um, Ash there, or maybe he's not really used to the Jeeves. Maybe. I mean, yeah, I mean, that, that's also true. If you card. haven't played against the Jeeves, you don't really know how to handle it. I'm kind of fascinated that this. I mean, this shouldn't be that big of a deal. He has all the money in the world. Yeah, exactly. So even if that's an ass behind a uh, ash behind the teams, he can just trust it with a wizard credits. It's not like he's gonna lose that much. I mean, it's yeah. still a David counter, but I bet he has answers to actually get it back. You know. Yeah, but what if there's two David counters and Sunny is like, you know, uh, he trashed the Jeeves and next turn Mithras is like install advance advance. He still has the Faust. Yeah, he cannot break the. Oh advantage. yeah, it's a Turing. It's a Turing. Oh man. Well, he can man. run. He can run through with clicks. You know what I think this could be in front of HQ? Oh, snaps on. What if the thing in front of HQ is another Turing? It's not. We saw the third Turing in uh, Mithras's hand. Oh, okay. <laughs> because that would explain the no res. Yeah, no, no. Unless he doesn't have to res the Turing, he wouldn't res it, right? Like in front of HQ, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. I think it's probably <sighs> a wrapper on or something. That could be very much. Maybe he's just waiting for the time he's gonna have an agenda. Yeah, where it suddenly matters. <clears throat> All right, so that's there's a run. That's the CVS. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's actually oh, not bad. That's he access very. access it before the access. Oh, that's not a good idea. Ooh, score. That's nice. Go again. Go again. Go again. Go so, again. No. I, I, no, I think. Oh, hmm. So, so that was a, que a rules question here because uh, he had like two counters, uh, one counter on this, right? Mm -hmm. And so he accessed two cards, even though the it was purged before. And so the idea is that, you know, the access has begun. And when the access begins, you determine how many cards you see on R&D. Yeah, that is true. That is true. And so you, it, so it even if, you, if, if during the access you access an uh, upgrade that purchase your counter, you still access two afterwards. Yeah, yeah, that's, that is very true. It should happen like that. It's just like um, if you... Um, what was it? Uh, if, if a program... Like sneak door beta, if the program dies during the process that you're firing the sneak door beta, it's still gonna happen at the end of it. Yeah, like the, the, effect, the effect persists yeah. beyond yeah. the lifetime of the card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like expert schedule analyzer for all the pros that play that. <laughs> I never I never seen that card in play, man. I think once in the draft maybe, I don't know exactly sure. <laughs> Jesus. I'm waiting for the day that somebody's gonna pull it out and I'll be like, what? And then he'll beat me and I'll be and, like, what? And he's like, no, it combos with this card. And like, what? <laughs> you discard all your hand. <laughs> what? <laughs> be like, fireworks everywhere, man. And I man. score all the agendas. <laughs> Running HQ. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah you're the right. There is the... We saw you earlier, man. It's okay. How old are you? <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> that was a very fast answer. <laughs> All right, and finally the yes, score by Mithras. Finally, using oh the um, biotic labor. Interestingly, I guess he doesn't have to. Is that a physics what? committee? No, that's a three. Uh, that's a two three. Yeah. No, that's fire a, it, fire it, fire, fire it. it, fire it. You have a Jackson. I mean, come on, you can. Just fire it, fire it, fire it. Uh, he gets a, get a credit. Oh, he gets one click because of triple advance. He just gets a credit. Really. Was that it? That was yeah. so. That was so anticlimactic. I, I, yeah, it's, it was a regular fast advance. It's just he gets got another credit because of the AGs because he advanced something three times in a row. We like hyped the hyped the whole like you know. Yeah, the and Jeeves and not, I mean, the, yeah. <laughs> Jeeves magic is just not there at this point. Oh, snap, son! It's an easy. Well, he can just data sucker. Okay. Yeah, yes, I mean, he, so much. I guess money. he could even click through if he wanted. If he's one of the cool kids. Oh yeah, he actually uses the mimic for this. That's great. Yeah, yeah exactly. the data data suck is a big deal. You're right. He just can't get through with money. In the oh, oh man, that one card access. Oh, them some, sniper abilities, bruh. Uh, some really good R and D access skills from 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 Jan here. Did you go again? You go again, right? There are two new cards there. He will see two cards. Yeah, there are two new cards, and you know that he doesn't have any in hand because you've been running it like crazy. Yeah, he has to kind of engage the R and D lock right now. I mean, yeah, come on, dedicate your. I mean, commit, commit, commit. Do it, motherfucker! Do it, do it, do it! Represent. Pull the trigger, do it! <laughs> For anybody who has who has what's Rick and Morty. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, uh, Jan is thinking about this. Mm, oh, this card. Go in. 
So what would you do? What would you do? I would try, totally run again. I don't yeah, know if I he has so. clicks for this. We haven't. I think he has a, he has a cavalry counters. in his hand. I think that I saw the fork. Yeah, yeah. W- fork would be great. I think he has a fork. He has a credit. I mean, there four credits. Go. Yeah, forked. All right, let's do this. That's not. That's not a bad idea at mm, all. No, that's there were worse idea. ideas than that. These two cards. Oh, <laughs> ridiculous! That was, ridiculous! That was ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, you gotta, you gotta see that. You know, you gotta say that Mithras was just not pulling what he needed. Oh, he Man. had the GFI in hand, but you couldn't score that. So. Oh, he had a GFI in hand. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Wow. He was an architect on HQ. <laughs> that was. A- <laughs> Why didn't he res it? I don't know. Like, he didn't have the mimic. Uh, Jan didn't have the mimic for quite a long time. I don't see why he didn't Man, Mistras is playing like a completely different level. I love it. Yeah. There's so many mysterious things about was, the way he plays. It was really not his fault that he lost this game. I mean, he could have maybe done a few things differently, but he still played it quite well. It was the R&D that gave, it, that gave the game, I feel. Yeah, I think this must have been really frustrating for Mithras to, to play yeah. this game. Like, all the pieces seem to be aligned, he just needed an agenda, but he just couldn't draw into the agenda. I, I'd be so and sorry if I was And there was Mithras. like this huge vein of agendas, and Jan ran exactly at this point on R&D. I would just pour salt all over the plane and just roll it into a salt burrito. <laughs> just let, let that roll in for a second. <laughs> I'm, I'm, just gonna, I'm, just, I'm just gonna, you know, say nothing and let our, our viewers paint a picture in their mind. Yes, a sad mm. burrito. <laughs> a sad burrito. So, yeah, well, Jan wins the regionals. Congrats, Jan. Yeah, congratulations to Jan. Congratulations to Mithras. Also You're for, now a for big a... deal in Hustle. <laughs> uh, she's big in, in Belgium, yeah. Yes. Uh, I uh, no, I think it was a really great um, game by Jan. We saw some really great games here, and yeah, um, I was really happy to see him in a big tournament because I, I know that he's a really good player. I've played against him many times. He's really great, and uh, but he wasn't really showing up to a lot of the high-profile tournaments. And I think uh, if Jan continues this way, we're gonna have a good chance of seeing him at the top tables on the German nationals this year. Well, hopefully, worlds too. Oh, a European and uh, oh yeah, European. Oh man, I'm looking so much forward to that exciting stuff and of course we're going to be yep. there for you guys to see this and so we're going to continue the next time with a tournament from the Cologne RPC whoop, whoop. where we're going to see some crazy Yarrow decks and we're going to get a good crazy Yarrow decks oh crazy Yarrow crazy Yarrow decks I love you so much mm, Yarrow <laughs> shout out to Yarrow anyways uh, so join us next time around when we're going to go whoa 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 <laughs> we shall. We shall. We shall. Let's proceed back to the plan. Let's proceed back to the plan. Hey, I. Shit on me. Blimey. <laughs> Blimey me. We Blimey. We shall. We shall be back in the plan. <laughs> <laughs> This episode of Netrunner Timor Cast was created with a generous support from our listeners. If you enjoy the show and you can't get enough Netrunner videos, please check out our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash hacktheplanet.